Hello everyone! Now that our player is moving, in this lesson we are going to make it shoot bullets as well. First, we need to create a bullet prefab. If you're not familiar with this concept, prefabs in Unity are pre-configured objects. Prefabs allow us to easily instantiate copies of a single game object during the game execution. So for example, you can create a, a prefab by creating an object on the screen. So let's drag the bullet here to create its object. Let's call it bullet and let's add its components. The, the bullet will also need a velocity. So let's add the rigid body 2D to it. Also, uh, the bullet, we need to check for collisions with the bullet. So let's add the collider, except the collider here will be a circle collider because the bullet has a circle shape, but it will also be a trigger. So let's check the is trigger box. Also, uh, we are going to change the scale a little bit because the, the bullet is too small here. So let's change the scale to be three and three. So we're making the triple of the size. So it looks better now. We can see it better. After we create all the added all the components, we can drag and drop it to the prefab folder here. And it creates a prefab for us. So now we can create new copies of the bullet by creating instantiating this prefab here. Also, if you change anything in the bullet, for example, if you decide to change the scale to 4 here, you can uh, save those changes in the prefab by click hitting apply here. So if you click apply, the prefab's uh, scale should change to 4 as well. But let's revert this and let's keep on, on 3. It was all, uh, only an example. Okay. Now we don't need the bullet here on the game anymore because we're going to create it from, the, from our script. Now that we have the bullet prefab, we can instantiate copies of it. So here's the challenge. Create a script that instantiates new bullets. Look for the instantiate method in the Unity documentation. We can, create, we can use the bullet prefab to instantiate new copies of it. Pause the video now and try implementing your solution. Then come back and now you're going to show mine. Okay, first let's create a new script called shoot bullets. And this script will be attached to the ship object and it will be used to create uh, new bullets. And in this script, we need to define the, the bullet prefab and the bullet speed as serialized fields. So let's set the bullet prefab. And the bullet speed as we did with the move player script. We are not going to need the start method, so I'm going to remove it from here. And in the update method, we are going to, to check if the space key has been pressed. By calling get key down and with the parameter being the space key. This will check if the space key has been pressed since the last frame. If so, we are going to call a method called shoot, which we are going to implement now. So let's create the shoot method and the shoot method is the one from the challenge. In this method, we are going to instantiate a new bullet from the bullet prefab and we are going to set its velocity. As I mentioned, we can do that by calling the instantiate method. So the instantiate, the first parameter is the bullet prefab. The second parameter we're going to use is the position we, are, we want to create the bullet. And we are going to use the same position as the ship. So we access it by this.transform.position. The last parameter is the rotation. And we don't want to rotate the bullet. So we are going to call quaternion.identity. You will notice that there are several different uh, signatures to the instantiate method. And we are going to use this specific one with the prefab, the, the position, and the rotation. But there are other ones. Okay, this instantiates a copy of the bullet prefab with the configured components we already added. But now we can access the rigid body component and change the bullet velocity. We want the bullet to move up, so we can do this by accessing vector2.up, which is a pre constant in unit, and multiply this by the bullet speed. Finally, 
we want the bullet to be destroyed after some time so we're going to call the destroy method for the bullet after one second okay now we add the script to the player as well the ship objective so let's go to the ship and here add component shoot bullets so here it is here we need to set the bullet prefab and the bullet speed because there are serialized fields so we can change them by the editor the bullet is the bullet prefab and the bullet speed can be 50 okay now we are going to to create a prefab for the ship as well because we're going to need it later and now let's try playing the game let's run let's try shooting bullets and the bullets have been created correctly and that's it for this lesson in the next one we are going to start adding the objects for handling multiplayer content